Yes, I can easily connect your Canon camera to your desktop or Mac and use it as a webcam. And it's actually done in three easy steps. So without further ado, let's get straight to how you can easily set this up. Now, first of all, I'm going to be using the Canon EOS 600D for this, which is an older camera, but still works with this functionality. So if you do in fact have a DSLR camera or even a mirrorless camera, it will indeed work with both of them, which is a nice little plus to have. So first thing I have to do is actually install the Canon EOS utility webcam app which is going to be in the link in the description. Basically just download the version that suits your system best, whether it's Windows or Mac OS. Now once you have downloaded it, do make sure you install it into your system, and then you'll have to restart your system because then it will fully optimize the app for your system. Now once you have done that, what you're going to do is you're going to try to connect your Canon camera to your system. Now of course, most cameras do in fact come with a cable that allows you to actually connect your Canon to your system. For of course, for you to actually transfer your photos from your camera to your system, which for me, it's gonna be a micro USB to USB type A. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna connect the one side to your camera and the other side to your system. And now all you gotta do is basically turn on your Canon camera, and then of course, open the software that you're wanting to use to use your Canon camera as a webcam for, whether it's Zoom, FaceTime, OBS and so much more. And here's just a little demonstration of what it actually looks like, especially for me using the Canon EOS 600D. Okay, so this is how it looks right now with me using the Canon EOS 600D as a webcam. Now you can notice obviously the quality doesn't look good, but there is actually a reason why. Now first of all, when it comes to using the Canon EOS utility webcam app, there is one downside and that is, well, it's gonna be capped at 720p unless you pay $4 a month to have access to the pro version, which gives you access to 1080p, which is one of the downsides of using the Canon as a webcam for your setup, which is a downside. But I mean, if you are planning to use this mostly for live streaming or even just simple video calls, 720p is more than enough for it, it's all right. But for example, if you do want to use this for content creation, then I will say you might have to unfortunately pay $4 a month to have access to 1080p, which is gonna be a lot better to use. But for live streams, this is more than enough. And if you do indeed have a newer version of a Canon camera, it will definitely look a lot more better when it comes to the quality. Now, let me say, if you are someone that is gonna be using a Sony camera, it's actually a lot easier to set up. In fact, you basically just gotta connect the Sony camera to your system. It will work instantly as a webcam, which is something I will say Sony is a lot better at when it comes to using their cameras. But if you are someone that is a Canon user, this is what you have to get used to because unfortunately, it is behind a paywall for better quality. But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next one. Peace out as always, and have a great day. Bye.